9 Interesting Facts About Morse Code, which caused many people to lose their jobs after its invention. In a time when people communicated through letters that took days or months to arrive, the telegraph using Morse code was invented. This reduced message delivery time to minutes. Today, we will discuss Morse code, its interesting facts, and its place in the modern world. Although Morse code may seem like a different form of communication, it was once a commonly used method. While it is not currently used frequently, it was especially popular during the telegraph era. Today, we will discuss interesting facts about Morse code, which was once a commonly used form of communication. By learning these facts about Morse code, you will realize how important this seemingly insignificant form of communication was. While Morse code is not considered a language, it was used frequently in the past. In fact, some areas still use Morse code today, although not as frequently as before. From telegraphs to SOS signals, some fundamentals rely on Morse code. Without further ado, let's move on to our list of interesting facts about Morse code. 1. The purpose of its invention was solely for telegraphs. The main reason for the invention of Morse code was its use in telegraphs. In the past, telegraphs could communicate through electrical waves and signals. Of course, you needed to know how to use it to send single waves. The simplest method for this was the development of Morse code, which began to be used in telegraphs. By creating short and long combinations for letters and numbers, you could easily send telegraphs to the person on the other end. This writing action is what we call Morse code. Perhaps the ancestor of today's keyboard formats is the Morse code, along with telegraphs. 2. It is still used today, albeit not actively. Morse code has a small place in today's world. Some people only learn Morse code as a hobby. Although it does not occupy a large part of our daily lives, there are still people who want to learn this communication method. Even today's emergency call for help, SOS, belongs to Morse code. In addition, some amateur radio operators continue to use Morse code in sending signal waves. In summary, we can say that Morse code is still being used, although it is no longer a major part of our lives. 3. Only two people invented Morse code. When we delve into the depths of Morse code, we see that two people invented it. While the hero of the invention was Samuel F. B. Morse, his assistant Alfred Lewis Vale also helped him along with a friend. During the process of Morse code invention, Vale's assistance was quite extensive in deciphering the code. But of course, the idea initially belonged to Samuel. Samuel F. B. Morse also came up with the name for this code. 4. He sent the first telegraph message to his assistant. After the Morse code was completed by Samuel and Vale, it was tested for the first time. The test was conducted through a registered telegraph on behalf of the government in Washington, D.C. in the presence of U.S. officials. Samuel sent the first test message to his assistant, and Vale received this telegraph from Baltimore at the time. The content of the message was, What hath God wrought? which is a phrase from the Bible. Although this process took place in 1844, the Morse code became widely used in telegraph communication. 5. Both inventor and painter, Samuel Morse. Samuel, who was the inventor of the Morse code, was actually a painter. He was well respected and known for many of his works, including a portrait of Marquis de Lafayette. He was also a well-known name in the art world. Despite being known as a good painter, he was also a talented inventor. It is quite natural to have such a talented inventor behind the Morse code. 6. When we think of the Morse code, we immediately think of the SOS signal. We know the importance of the SOS emergency call very well. This call also belongs to the Morse code. When we go back to the story of the SOS call, it started with the use of wireless telegraphs on ships in the 1900s. With the intensity of ship traffic, telegraph traffic also became quite intense. As a result, a decision was made among sailors to determine the emergency signal. 
Morse code was still widely used at the time because it was easy to use and understand. The SOS signal was created as an emergency call among sailors. It is still used today. You can see buttons with SOS written in red on our smartwatches, phones, and even some luxury model cars. When you press this button, you can automatically contact support teams. 7. By learning the Morse code, you can easily communicate with it. Although learning the Morse code may seem difficult at first, it can become quite easy with practice. All you need to do is convert letters into sound pulses. You just need to learn the letters, punctuation marks, and how to pronounce words in order. Like our languages, Morse code also has its own rules. For example, the use of dots can vary depending on the sentences. As we mentioned above, there are people who learn Morse code as a hobby. You can also be one of them. 8. Morse code cannot be considered a language. Although Morse code has its own specific rules, it is not fundamentally a language. Unfortunately, many people think of Morse code as a language. We can only say it is a code communication method. This alphabet, which was invented to transmit our alphabet simply by electrical signals, although it was extensively used in the past, it was never recognized as a language. 9. Morse code left some people unemployed. Before the invention of the Morse code, there were some tools available for communication. For example, you had to send a letter to communicate with someone. You could send these letters by train or horse. However, these letters unfortunately took a long time to reach the recipient and sometimes they never arrived. Fortunately, the Morse code was invented and telegraphs began to be used. Communication, which used to take days or even months, was reduced to minutes with the invention of the Morse code and telegraphs. However, some companies that provided letter transfers at the time began to go bankrupt. For example, the Pony Express could not keep up with the speed of telegraphs and completely ceased its activities in 1861. We have come to the end of our interesting facts list about the Morse code that we have prepared for you. Morse code could be considered the best communication method of its time. With telegraphs and Morse code, people began to communicate much more easily. This was also frequently useful for states as well as individuals. What do you think about the Morse code? Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments.